I meant to say that these uh, little cigar ets only cost me um, three euro a pack. I thought it was a good price. There's 20 cigarettes in a pack. So here's the, the wood avens and the familiar bright yellow floret. Be, uh, a few uh, flower heads to each plant. And then they will go to seed, and as I've told you several times already, this is the seeds that will, will then jump onto your clothes and uh, come home with you and make home in the garden. Here's a sprinkling of uh, uh, pink pulsane. Isn't it gorgeous? It really is, so dainty. Tiny little florets. We'll walk along here. My car should be alright sitting there. It's not causing any problems for anybody. Look at all the red campion. It's beautiful. The river's looking very bonny. It's rather low though, I have to say. It's uh, quite shallow. Very ancient part of Persia out, the, out here. Well, it sounds a bit silly, I did say that, but uh, what are we doing, bro? Around the corner here, what are you walking down here for? Uh, this is not the original uh, Strand Bridge, of course. This is the one that was replaced. The older one is up upstream a little. It got washed away in a flood several years ago. Look at this very handy footwork gal into the mesh. What's this one, Andy? This looks like Hollyhock, but it's not, is it? I don't know the name of this one. I really don't. I've not. Oh, what a lovely smell. Oh, that's beautiful. Take a photograph of this one, Annie. That's beautiful. What a lovely scent. It's white and pink, so we'll, we'll look that one up. It looks like a uh, hollyhock, doesn't it? Look at this, all different shades. Pink, lilac, white. I wonder if that's got something to do with the light. This is slightly darker, this one, see? That's amazing and very scented. And it's very pretty, look, there's loads of them. What a fabulous find. Oh, the scent. Oh, it's, it's like a... I've never smelled such a beautiful scent. I wonder what that is. Isn't this marvellous? What's this sign? Let's have a nose and see what the sign says before we do a river jet. I hope my battery lasts, Andy. Please. No, oh, this is a memorable uh, uh, memorial. Oh dear. What's happened here? Died in 2020. I'll not give you the name, that's not fair to do so, or the photographs that are on there. Oh dear. What's happened here? I don't know. It's a nice memorial. God bless you.
I won't show you a photograph, but uh, what a beautiful moment. I knew there was something there. Oh, what a lovely spot. God bless you, little angel, whoever you are. I don't recognize the name at all. But they obviously knew this part of the land. Oh, pigeons, startled. And that's not ventured too far, and he left the window of your car open. It should be safe, I don't think anyone's going to steal anything. Well, you never know. Ah. Isn't this wonderful? We'll hop along this way just for a couple of secs and I think we should go back and close the car window just in case Andy because it is the 21st century and there's low vibrationals going around. What a marvellous place. Come on, let's go back and close the window first and then we'll come along and have a proper dander along here. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is Cranesville. Remember I was saying about the speed rail? Well, this is Cranesville, the larger, it's got a larger uh, petal. And it's slightly more purple than the speed rail. And it's just as well I went back to the car, because I left my car key sitting on the chair. <laughs> with an open window, so anyone low vibrational could have sucked their head and decided, well, let's take this car. And I dare say the insurance company would not have uh, been most pleased to hear that I'd been so stupid. To, uh, even if I told them, well, look, someone stole my car, I've lost my motor that's, and uh, everything in it. Uh, including my mobile phone and all the rest of the stuff. Uh, but let's not uh, be downhearted about the situation because I discovered uh, a new plant and uh, that far outweighs any hiccups regarding the motor. Oh, what a smell. Oh, that's beautiful. I really need to find a name. Remember I asked you about um, plants having their own locations? and really enjoying their own backyard but this plant is obviously I've never seen it before so it's something that's uh, obviously native to this part of uh, Strathern I've I may well have seen it before but I've never come I've never actually stopped and looked no I've not seen that before never I would have known about the I would have known the plant and the name and the smell is just like rather reminds me of my grand's garden. She had so many lovely plants. Of course my granny would have been able to tell me right away what she, what the name of that was. My mum was very uh, intelligent when it came to gardening and stuff as well. She was very creative, my mother. She was very Always doing something. The bus is not far away. I can't remember this one either. It's not Lady's Bed Straw. Let me just smell just in case. No. Let me see, Andy. No, that's not Lady's Bed Straw, Andy. We'll switch off for a moment, eh? Yes, my mother was. 
entirely creative. Uh, she was a Gemini, and of course we're in the season of Gemini, and this is full moon weekend once more. But the full moon this evening, or today, is uh, lands in the sign of Sagittarius. So you can see how we're skipping through the year already. Six months ago the full moon would have been in uh, Gemini. So I, I have moon placement of Sagittarius in my birth chart, which I think I mentioned previously. It, uh, at my time of birth, the the moon was sitting in the sign of Sagittarius. So that's why I have Sagittarian traits alongside Virgo traits. Well, Virgo would be my main trait because I was born under the Virgo sun sign. The, uh, the line that I'm looking across over the other side of the meadow, that of course is the uh, direct route of the Creef to uh, Comrie and beyond railway line. Can you imagine just standing here watching the steam trains zip by before it enters the tunnel across there? This uh, ghastly stuff uh, over here has uh, evaded most of the riverbeds uh, throughout Strathairn. It's called Himalayan balsam. It comes out in a pink flower. The bees love it. It is edible, but I would, uh, it's not something I would try. Um, you can make honey and stuff from it as well, but um, you no, know, it's invasive and uh, it's choked out so many of our natural plants. Although out here, I'm pleased to say there's a lot of uh, wild flowers, more than I expected today. There's an abundance of uh, the red campion and an absolute abundance of the crane's bill. And uh, I spotted more of these uh, deliciously scented uh, pink plants here. The pink here, but not uh, the lilac and purple back there. But uh, this is almost uh, almost white, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. It really is. That is the most perfect plant. No, oh, please tell me what it is. It really is wonderful. So this is the uh, ghastly, uh, horrid Himalayan balsam. The the main reason for it all floating around is it's probably just as simple to say that uh, someone probably up in Comrie has bought that from a garden centre, um, decided it wasn't uh, suitable for the garden after all, has lifted it and rather than dispose of it correctly they've decided to just chuck it in the river arm. It may well be from St. Philan's actually or or further off because it's the whole length of the urn. And um, what's happened is uh, I think is it's caught roots and uh, one, one um, floret I think provides is it 2,000 seeds, one plant about 2 million. So you can see that uh, how quickly it would spread and of course it loves the event. Here's some sorrel. This is sorrel. Why is it so powdery, Annie? This is, this is edible. This is sorrel. It's lovely on a salad. I don't know why it's powdery though. Let's check this one. Hmm. 
Ah, the bird life's here. There's a lot of birds that don't see anymore. I thought I caught sight of a yellow hammer. And once again, just like the uh, native plants, the, the birds also have their favorite locations where they, I mean, Marie Road, not far from where I stay, is, uh, is a favorite haunt for the Pied Bagtail. And, um, but when I was a young boy, I, I mean, we went out looking at the birds. We did. I mean, it sounds bizarre, but uh, that's exactly what we did. And we just stop and exchange stories about the different birds that we seen in the in the playground. We saw gold crests on Sunday. Whereabouts? Uh, we saw a red pole. And. Uh, I mean, we used to go, I, I have to be honest, we used to go um, looking for nests as, as well. We were only young, but we used to find loads of nests. I don't know, we used to find blackbird's nest, song thrush. Um, we used to find uh, all manner of uh, birds nesting in uh, trees and hedges, but I never see anything now. This blue flower just caught my eye, this is borage. Or borage. Blue is a uh, quite a rare colour for flowers and uh, overall that's borage. It's a real haven for wildflowers here, isn't it? Simply gorgeous. There's a white flower along here, it's just caught my eye. It's as white as snow. Let me get there quickly before my camera busts out of the uh, uh, battery power. This can't be one of those plants. It is. This doesn't look as if it's a, a wild flower, but I wonder if it, it must be, I mean, most wildflowers have uh, garden neighbours which are identical, but this is, this is absolutely brilliant. Four petals, Andy, remember that, four petals. I'm going to take a. I wonder if this is a seed. That's, that's dead flower. That's dead. I wonder if this goes to seed. I'm going to come back. If it goes to seed, Andy, we'll collect some. We'll try and grow some for the garden. I really like this one. This has got to be my my, my favourite flower. Oh, it's. I've never smelled anything so gorgeous in my life. These uh, daisies as well. These will come out big white, uh, what do you call them, Annie? 